What's up, flame folk? Austin here, back with another quick tip. Here's the shot we'll be messing with today. For some reason, the client fell totally in love with this patch of dead grass, and the entire field now has to match the dead grass. Immediately, you grab your paint node and start rec cloning that patch, but quickly find out this isn't going to work. There isn't much info to clone from. You could tough it out, but the result would be this lame, repeated pattern paint job that won't look good. You think to yourself, if only there was an easy way to take this patch of grass and disperse it around to break up the pattern so it doesn't tile repeat. Well, it turns out there isn't. This is what you get. This is what you get. <gasps> Holy shit. Hey, Mikey, I think he likes it. How about some more? Hell yes. Hell yeah. Hello, Flame Hello. Hello. This is Jeff Kyle. Jeff Kyle. Jeff Kyle. Jeff Kyle. Disperse, Jeff Kyle. Disperse, Disperse, Dispersion Pattern, Dispersion Pattern. pattern. <sighs> I know Kung Fu. Show me. Turns out there is a way. A hack. First grab a blur node and set it to 1. Then grab the match grain node. Then pipe the plate to the front. Then the blur to the degrain input. The plate to the original input. And the plate to the grain input. Hit analyze. Turn on dispersion. Move the yellow sample box over to the area you want to disperse. Hit F4 to cycle to the grain output section. Adjust the cell size and distortion to taste. Then grab a paint node. Hook it up to the original plate. Create a new paint source input. And connect that to the grain output from the match grain node. Hop into the paint node. Switch your brush to reveal. And paint away until you're happy. 